Welcome back, everybody. We are playing America Island on Kusan Gaming. I am your host, Kusan, and uh, we are on episode 10. Now, I don't know if 10's a big number for you, but for me, I am pretty happy that we are episode 10, and uh, we are going to make this episode a big episode. How is that going to happen? Well, first of all, I mean, this could technically be considered an optimization episode because we are financially, if you look at our finances, uh, we are losing a bit of money on railroad and I would like that to uh, cease and desist. I would like to make some money. Well, one thing I realize here about this lumber line is uh, it is losing us money. And seeing as the whole west coast is part of this uh, new project we started, I, would, I don't want to be losing money on my new project. So, uh, this truck line here, I started to name it. I didn't finish naming it. It's, it's the uh, West Coast Lumber. West Coast Lumber Truck. Well, I think we need to add a few more trucks to that line. For the simple reason that um, trains are waiting to be filled up. And uh, they, are, they are waiting quite a while. I'm just going to press this button a few times. What do we have there? I bought a bunch of vehicles just now. I didn't count. I just went for it. I want to see this route packed with vehicles because here they are. Here we go. Here you go. All those vehicles. And when I say vehicles, I mean pairs of horses hauling a cart behind them. Look at that. That's a sight to be seen. This should actually help us. Now, I don't know if I should have these trains wait to be full, or if the trains should just just go. This lumber train is on its way back. I should probably, even though it's only 40 out of 70 full, I think we need to have this train running at full, at full gear in both directions all the time. Why is that? How do I even do that? Manage line. There we go. Well, that's how we do that. We'll give it a try. We have a million and a half, so the thing is, I want to buy a lot of trains this episode, but before we buy many trains, we're going to need to. Well, we're going to need to uh, optimize and make profit off what we have. We have the ship, uh, ship West Coast Refined Oil is losing us just a bit of money. Why would that be? That's this line here. That is this line here, uh, the one that brings fuel, refined oil, to Seattle North. Well, it's not full. It's not running full. There's 51. How about this ship? It's on its way. It only has 51. That tells me that the ship is coming too often, or not often enough. There's 400 fuel waiting to be filled here. Okay, a, an easy way to make more money is just to send more fuel ships. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna send a bit more fuel ships. If I can that all be helped to stop me, but we because we're in a situation where we have eight and a half million dollars in loans out. And I'm a, I just borrowed another million and a half. We're at our we're at our maximum loan capacity. So we need to definitely Um What do we need to do? We need to definitely make that last bit of money count for us. I'm just gonna I'm gonna invest it all into the oil line because that's a, that's a safe bet. There would be no reason for me to lose this game over a uh, an unsafe bet. If there's ever a thing I would do, it's a safe bet. Look at this. There are passengers waiting in Bay City for a bus that is never coming. We need more vehicles. I don't mind putting more vehicles on the roads. That's what this episode might be just about. The big 1-0. The big episode 10. But people are seriously enjoying drive, riding around from, uh, they're enjoying riding around from uh, Seattle to Bay City. What's going on? This loop line is definitely losing us some money. Uh, I, I'm tempted to just demolish all the train stations, but how much do they actually cost us? There's no way to know. Well, we can just wait here until the end of the month, really, and look at that little 
the minus sign that comes up. But we won't be doing that. I'll go on fast speed in this episode. We, we're going to recuperate. We are going to recuperate some funds. Don't fall off the map there. Off the edge. That's not what you're all about. Right, here we go. We're sending a fleet of ships that way. As soon as we're done auto-saving, these ships will be on their way. Careful, buddy. What are, you do what are you doing? Look at that. That's a duplicate. There are two ships there. You wouldn't know it. Wow. I've only seen that in video games. But anyway. Um... That should pay off nicely once they get there, which would take a while. Do we have oil piling up here? Okay, back to our sheet here. Back to our finance report. Line 5 is losing money. That's the new passenger service. It is 10 minutes wait to go from... But it's uh, 21 people out of 56. I can't do anything about that. I can only increase the amount of buses. Do we have enough? And we don't have enough money to do that. Let's go. Let's make some money. As soon as there's money in my account, I'm buying buses. In fact, I'll be... I'll get myself ready. I'll do the pose. Where is it? Click on the bus stop. That should help. Line 8. We can rename the not, We can rename this line while we wait, but... Bus Seattle. Will we make a million dollars in the foreseeable future? I certainly hope so. I am trying to desperately find the plate way to get a vehicle on this bus ride. Manage vehicle. Here we are. That was a bit of a convoluted path. Now I just need a million dollars. Anybody? Anybody have a million dollars for me? Does anybody around here want to invest in my company? I could always just print some money. I could go and type in 10 million dollars. But uh, that's not what we do on episode 10, is it? It might be. It's not. Now we're down. We're two million dollars in the drain. This is going to be an episode of uh, resurrection because you think we're going to fail, but I'm going to guarantee you we're not going to fail and we're going to persist. Although if this could happen any faster, it would help because uh, waiting around is not something we all love to do, is it? What can we do other than waiting around? We can plant trees. They're free. But what's going to happen if we plant trees is we're going to miss the opportunity to buy some buses. Um, okay, back to optimization. I'm sure I can optimize with what we have. West Coast crude oil is now considered a loser. That's because I bought a bunch of ships. West Coast lumber. I feel maybe I'm going to... There are zero pieces of lumber on any of these trains. I'm going to sell one of these trains. Which train? This number six is the younger of the two trains. We're going to sell it. How much would that give us? We are back in the positive. And that shouldn't affect operations too much because there's still tools being delivered to Bay City. And now, we're going to make sure both trains. We're going to have two trains on the sign. And both trains are going to have to wait to be full. Okay, until a date at which... A manage line, please. Okay, at, at, until a further date where we are for sure making money. Until that time, you can just sit back and wait to be full. Well, you look pretty full to me. But you could be more full. You could definitely be more full, son. You, son, can definitely be more full. That's what I like to say. Alright, 1.4 million. We have the money. Let's buy some buses before the opportunity evades us. M buy the vehicle. Buy the dub double, double, just duplicate all the vehicles on the line. I don't care. I feel like that could be, that could bring us instant gratification in terms of dollars. Bring me some dollars. I've been asking you a long time. Manage vehicles. All y'all, duplicate. Duplicate yourself. Replicate. Let's go. You're a, you're a winning line. You're making me eight thousand dollars. Make me sixteen. I want to see those numbers rock and roll. Now we are back in the negative, but we at least managed to buy some buses on the west coast, ladies and gentlemen. Within the first ten minutes of the tenth episode, 
we bought more than 10 buses. Can you imagine that kind of dedication to transport in the transport fever world, America Island? We can be renaming buses, bus lines, Bus Bay City. Not too hard of a name. Not at all too hard of a name. So road transport is the name of the game. We sold one train and we put a bunch of cars on the road. There you go, another 600,000. Another 1 million. I'm gonna take another bet and put some ships on this line. I don't think that that's a bad idea. Two ships or three? Can we get three in there? Can we squeeze in a third ship? No, we started to go negative again. Not to worry. Not to worry at all. Perhaps the, um, perhaps the West Coast, well, first of all, look at this. There's a train going to Pittsburgh. I'm sure it's losing us money. It's not losing us too much money. Where is it? It's losing us money. 100,000. I think we just need to set up a, a local transit here. Let's set up some local transit, which is, again, increasing the bus service of this area. Now, is this a good idea? It seems like a great idea. Unfortunately, I'm going to put it somewhere else. I like it more tightly in the corner there. Alright, some bus stops. Bus stops. Here we go. Let's do a little around the around the square type action and we'll name this bus line right off the bat that way we are being good citizens we are fulfilling our duties and we are going to set the buses on this line condition of road vehicle number 28 is bad well that's just too bad Alright, buy vehicles, what do we have here as options? We have this American Stagecoach. Press the button a few times, there we go. Bus Pittsburgh. That's done. That right there has been done. Anybody else need another bus? How about you, Philadelphia? Five people waiting. And five people waiting, that, to me, sounds like one bus. That actually even sounds almost like two buses. No, 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 we'll put we'll put a third bus on this line. That could be good. What else have we got going on here on the East Coast? Does New York City need a bus? New York City is doing fine. Maybe one bus. Just one little bus. We don't have enough money for one little bus. We'll keep a moving then. Moving on, here we are, Boston. We are in Boston. Things are looking good in Boston. There are 83 people waiting to take the train. Now, I wouldn't be uh, wrong to tell you that we should probably have a line going. What? Well, this is the Tea Party Express train. Well, you know what? We're gonna make a new line, and it's gonna be the Boston New York. Express for the Tea Party Express. It's only two stops, so it, it has to be an express by definition. Uh, we also want to give it a nice color, if at all possible. Dark blue. There we go. And now this train, we're gonna wait for you to, you know, disembark your passengers. Let's go. Speed up, sir. Get to the station. Get in there. Okay, disembark your things. All those passengers. And switch lines. Are you ready? Are you ready? 211,000. There we go. No, go back to the station. No path. Okay, back back to the other station. Then. Now, do we have a turnaround point? It looks as if we don't have a turnaround point. But that could simply be... A matter of, of uh, platform mechanics. Manage line. New York City, platform two. Okay, we clearly need a turnaround point here. Clearly, a turnaround point is needed. 
in New York City. There is too much slope. I wouldn't ha I wouldn't argue with you. I agree. There is too much slope. That would not be my fault, though. Would it? Let's put a one-way signal. That way, you know, there's no confusion about where you must go. And uh, finally, uh, reconnect the road like a proper citizen. And there is too. It's not possible. They say not possible. Although they will allow something more disgusting happen. They will allow a disgusting sort of. They won't allow something proper. Well, I'll understand. I understand. How about a bridge? There's not. There's definitely not enough room for a bridge. Okay. Well then, uh, I guess nobody's getting to New York by car then. And I don't want to start uh, digging up another road like we did last time. Those uh, those are not the best types of uh, episodes, I would say. Although they do make for a pretty map in the end. And some of you probably would like to see a pretty map in the end. So uh, this now yellow line can uh, just go to New York and not have to go to Boston. And then we'll put another train on it. And the, the hope here, the idea, is... um to maximize profits obviously but also to um we we would be more consistent with demand because i think a lot more people want to go whoops a lot more people are traveling from new york to boston than any other destination from new york these boston people really want to go to new york that's all i can tell you 83 people so now we have a train it's going to do that for us I'm even gonna do something. I have two and a half, two point one million, two and a half million dollars. Pause. We're gonna give two more uh, wagons on this train of dirty yellow color. Is it this one? Yes, it is. All right. Buy. Wait, I didn't even modify it. Don't click modify until you've modified. Add. Add. There's 84 capacity for 110 meters. There are 84 people waiting at that station. So, whoa. Now, I'm wondering, is this because this train is very old and this train's very new? <laughs> well, that's uh, that's quite funny. I'd suggest you get in those back cars there for, uh, for better customer service. But you'll just be glad you're on the train to New York. We have 84 people on this train, so that should start making us uh, a good chunk of dough. How about over here? Are we are we doing well? Well, we have a lot more stuff waiting to go to New York City than we do to Philadelphia. I'm afraid we are going to have to cancel the Philadelphia service. Why do I keep clicking that button? Click on the line itself. Cargo East Coast Quarry. That's the quarry line. And that's the, the delivery line. Okay, you no longer are going to Philadelphia. We might send a truck there. This right there should be better. And uh, we're also going to give you another... Um, how many are we going to give you? We're going to give you... Pause the game before we uh, speed off into the distance there. And we'll put the right car on this time. Not like that one time. We put the wrong car on. I would like the same car. Consistency is key. There we go, 74. I'm not sure what the length of the platform is, but I think that 74 meters, 81 meters. Well, we'll give it, we'll do 74. It already says the vehicle is poor condition for this, so. It should still make money. And clearly the platform is long enough, but next time when we upgrade this train, this must be an old train. Look at that. That looks rusty as I've never seen before. Well, will you make it, buddy? This is our only... Um, this is a, a, a Baldwin six-wheel, I think. So this is our only Baldwin six-wheel. Uh, how would I... Details. Yes. Hover. 
Baldwin Six Wheel. We will name this uh, train way too far in the future, but it's episode 10, so we're doing crazy things. We're going to call this the Tiny Mighty Hauler, uh, because we'll be storing it away for uh, mem memory's sake when the time comes. How are our lines doing now? Are we more profitable? Well, this line is not yet profitable. I think that's going to change though, once it does a round trip. It hasn't even done a round trip yet, has it? Or it has to do with being a really old vehicle. A lot of vehicles are doing bad in terms of road condition. What vehicle would this be? Line 3. Would you imagine that vehicle is already a, in poor condition? I would not believe it. But we could name the line. There's no harm in that. It's a truck delivery of Bay City. Anybody else need uh, naming? Who needs naming? Line 4. Line 4 is a ghost line. Let's just delete it. Nobody needs that. That's that circular line. How about line 2? Is there a train on line 2? Uh, yeah, don't go deleting it. It's it's definitely a train line. It's the um, it's the tools delivery train. So we should name it that. Line two. Uh, West uh, train no cargo cargo capitals cargo West Coast tools. Line 5 is the West Coast Passenger Line. That's pretty simple. Train West Coast C to Bay. That way we'll know it's passenger. And um, line 6 is the last line's name, but there's no train on it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to do away with you. Just like that. All our lines are now named. Perfect. And we have $4 million. So that's good. That means we made some money. And uh, wow, would you look at that. The magic of management. We have uh, the West Coast Lumber Line is now profitable. The East Coast Quarry Line. Okay, that has always been profitable. The West Coast Passenger Train that we just renamed. It's profitable. It's making almost $200,000 a year. Then we have the West Coast Tools line, that's making profit. East Coast Delivery to New York City, Sopranos Construction, that's doing well. And then all these trucking and busing lines doing quite, this one's doing 48,000, this must be the lumber line. And then the bus in Seattle is very much excelling. Very much excelling indeed. Well, now that we're making money, and it's uh, the year 8, uh, 1877 can you imagine I didn't know it went we went that far okay how is Pittsburgh doing because we did connect it up there are 32 people waiting to get on a train we need more buses Pittsburgh needs more buses that is probably not enough buses but we won't be too crazy about it I would like to uh, start this loop line service this episode that would be a good 10th episode special edition for you but in order to do that four million dollars is enough to buy how many trains how many trains is four million dollars gonna buy us well we we wanted to go with the new Baldwin which is a million dollars so take that we're not gonna buy it we're just looking and the Baldwin goes 60 kilometers an hour, so the Russo Balt would have to be the logical 60 kilometers per hour. That's the uh, speed of this passenger car. And at 110 meters, it's $4 million. Now, one train is clearly not enough because the frequency would not be good. 
I think we're better off actually duplicating this train, the East Coast Line that goes from New York to Pittsburgh. What do you think? I think that's a good idea. At least we can uh, increase, well, it's not even full. We'll wait on that. We'll, we'll wait on that until we put, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna do it. We're gonna put our cross country train. This will be the first train to travel cross country. Super exciting. But before, okay, before we do this, let's get organized here. Um, we need to make sure that nothing is gonna get stuck on anything. Namely, this is going to be a one-way signal. This signal is going to have to go. And this is a one-way signal. And this is a double slip switch. That works. Okay. Now we can send a train down here. It's going to come through this part here. I don't really want it to get into the way of all these cargo trains. So we're going to bring it on the... Uh, passenger line on this side here so if we start from here bring it somewhere like that how's that that is quite quite good that I like double slip switch yep indeed it is indeed it is so now the train can come from here, continue on. Uh, we, we might put a set of signals here to uh, increase efficiency. These can also be one-way signals. I don't see why not. I just love one-way signals. Okay, once we get here, we need to sort of make sure the train goes on the proper track. That can be done over here with a simple, pretty simple uh, interchange that is going to be, I would like to say temporary. I would not like to say that this is a permanent situation because it doesn't look too beautiful. But um, here we put a signal on this side, put a signal on this side. Will we put a signal on that side? We will. Temporary signals. The most marvelous thing I've ever seen. Okay, so now the train can get on this track here, and would you look at that? This loop line's not even double tracked. Not even double tracked. Is that going to be a problem? How much is that going to end up costing us? It's going to end up costing us a bit. But um, we're already spending money on maintaining all these train stations, so I would like to say that by incurring a bit more cost, we, we might be doing the right decision in this case. A bit more cost, but it's an investment. Let's just put it that way. I'm just double checking to make sure everything aligns everywhere nicely and easily. Is this a double slip switch? It's not. It could be. Should it be? I don't know. It probably shouldn't be. Or it might be. I don't know. I think we need one on more on this side of the uh oh no that works that helps everybody we do need signals though would a, would a one-way signal screw up our seattle line let's double check and see if it does it does it does in upper bay city you go on track two now, what is making you decide that you need to be going on one track? Is there no turnaround point here in uh, in this city? There is no turnaround point. We'll build a turnaround point for you. Everything needs to be perfect. If it's not perfect, things get screwed up. There we go. Now you understand. That's your last trip you're making on the wrong side, son. Now you understand. Now we have a, why do we have a habit of these short trains? Is the platform really that short? The platform's not that short. So that's good. We can increase the size of the train. 
We can also put more trains on there. Now we still have $4 million. I'm going to speed the game up just a bit. I'm going to build a line. I think we're ready to build a line. So we're going to go from Pittsburgh platform. Well, one, I guess. I don't know. Where's one? All right, we'll figure it out. We're going to go through uh, Chicago, then Denver, and Upper Bay City. Nice, and now they're not sharing a platform in Upper Bay City. That brings us some wonderful efficiency. Now, I see you are not using both sides of the track. Oops, don't need to put that second stop. If I made you on platform two, would you use the right side of the track? You of course wouldn't, I know why. Of all the turnaround points we built, we didn't build one in Pittsburgh. But now, if we want that train to start on that side, we're going to need another switcheroo-z place here. So that's where you'll do your switcheroo. And then you need one here for the business. Okay, does that make sense? This is a one-way... Dude. You have got to follow the one-way laws. Does that help? Okay, well, that's just a matter of, I guess, something like that. If we put platform 2 for all of these, does that fix everything? It looks like everything is fixed. So now we're going to build, we're going to go buy a $4 million train and celebrate for we would have connected the East Coast and the West Coast by episode 10. That is fascinating. All right, Baldwin, Baldwin, where are you? There you are. Let's actually be smart about this and paint the train before we buy it. Now, um, what's a good color? All these colors are good colors. Um, we need a bright color. No, we don't. We'll just go with blue. I don't think we have a blue train yet. As in a painted blue train. Add. And then cargo. Nope, a passenger. That's the thing. We will put, as I said, that many uh, trains. $4 million. Set you on line one. Now line one, we'll go and name it right away, because we're being responsible. It's all about being a good transit authority CEO. And we'll also color you the right blue. Which blue was it? This one? That's a good blue. We'll call you the train cross country uh, comet. No, yeah cross-country line and then the train will call it the comet for we need some uh, we would love some alliteration in the name there yo that train is zooming so fast I believe we're on fast speed but that's okay we're we're pretty we are pretty uh, antsy to get this running so we'll fly on with you there we are the cross-country comet Now, in order for this to be successful, I mean, it's going to pick up passengers in Pittsburgh from both uh, the uh, from both transfers and from uh, Pittsburgh people themselves. Right now, Pittsburgh is not connected because they built a road here. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay. Clearly, they're trying to screw me over a bit. That, that road was connected and then they decided that by building a, a curve in that road they're gonna disconnect everything okay this connects everything back up I'm very happy to announce that we have connected the station back up okay that should help us make money now let's just make sure that let's make sure what is going on with this train that is one messed up train, I must say. There is a train inside. Can you find... 
You can find a path. Don't no path. Why is there no path? Is it to do with the signals? Now this train line's giving me problems. You understand where to go, so it shouldn't be a problem unless we unless this signal is facing the wrong way. That signal is probably facing the wrong way. We're gonna delete all the signals now. Is there a signal over here? There is a signal and it definitely is the wrong way. There we go. I'm glad I caught that because there was a train sitting inside a train and uh, our comet has flown away. Where is the comet? You are stopping at a station that isn't even connected to the city. Brilliant. That's a brilliant piece of technology you have. Uh, you have mastered training. and. Well, I see a corner here. I see a corner here that's not a good corner. Should I put up with it? I'm not gonna put up with it. I never put up with anything like that. That's some tomfoolery. And we don't put up with any tomfoolery. We put up with beautiful Grid City. Now I can maybe fit a passenger stop over here. Can we do that? Would it be nice to us? I'm talking at a nice angle. This is not a nice angle. As nice an angle as possible, if you will. Would you be so kind as to put a nice angle? You would not be so nice as to put a nice angle. Everything must be done. I have to manipulate you in ways to get it to do what I want. Okay. That should work. That could work for a certain amount of time. And we just do a simple, a simple what? A simple two stop three stop line now does Chicago deserve a train because we are in the age of it is 1878 and I think that the 1880s are all about the tram but Chicago particularly is sort of a fancy city so um, if anyone is of that mind that Chicago is a fancy city would know that Maybe Chicago earned a triumph. Didn't earn it. It just did, didn't deserve it. Didn't earn it. It's just going to get it. And then we'll see what happens. We'll see. Uh, possibly this is not a good investment. But it will be fun though to watch Tram go around this loop. And as we all know, Chicago Chicago loves loops. So uh, that's that's where that's coming from. This is almost symmetrical, but... It clearly isn't. Now, I don't think the people of Chicago would like something that is but isn't symmetrical. We have to put a piece of road first in order to make this all come together nicely. So, put the road. Obviously, uh, the squiggly road has been offered, but we are not going to accept that offer. We're obviously going to go with a, if we can, that to me possibly could be straight. Is that straight? It's straight, but it's not the length I wanted. Okay, try again. Don't spend too much time on this now. This is the 10th episode. There we go. The lucky charm of this episode is that things work pretty fast. And we're not going to stick on things for too long. Well, there we go. Now we have a city. Well, not yet. Just hold on. Just hold on a second. Horse-drawn USA. Horse-drawn streetcar USA. Line one. I appreciate that. I appreciate your uh, your compliance. Will it actually give me a streetcar? Will you come out of there? There you are. I didn't realize your horse drawn. I did read that. Yeah, I did read that. So I should have known. We'll put two. We'll put two streetcars there for Chicago. Alright, are there people on this train? There actually are not any people on this train. We're going 51 kilometers an hour. I think up a gentle slope. I mean,
mean, that's clearly a slope, but this is a nice part of the world. It's a pretty scenic ride. Okay. We have almost, we have another $4 million. I'm almost tempted to send another train just to get that frequency up because ain't no good sending a train with no, uh, with the improper frequency. Now, Denver deserves a bus. Just a little bus. It's a baby city. We'll give it two stops. That's actually three stops if you were counting. Okay. Very simple. I think it's simple enough, but we do need another bus depot, and that is another that is another monthly cost. You know, we don't need this middle stop. We just need a point to point. And we'll name it. Bus Denver. There we go. That one. This one is the um, tram Chicago. And what's this one? This is nothing. I, I do believe this is nothing. It takes me to the middle of nowhere. Okay. Well, we'll delete you. So if only, uh, if only we could get this bus here in Denver set up, then we would be golden. I'll put this bus depot all the way over here near this farm because I think that we'll be doing some some shipping of food goods. We'll be trucking some food goods and we'll need a truck depot somewhere around that part of the world. We'll go with the American Stagecoach. Nothing better than that. I think we bought too many. Let's sell this one. We only need two buses for Denver. Denver's a baby city. Alright. And now, and then you go to... Uh, there is so many people waiting here, it's unbelievable. 56 people. That's exactly how many people fit on a train. And that train is on its way. So right now, we are fulfilling the band pretty nicely. Pretty nicely indeed. Now, how is the oil? Because presumably, we are bringing in a lot more oil. Which means we can get another oil delivery ship. So I wasn't just... I wasn't just duplicating ships in the beginning of this episode for nothing. We're going to start bringing oil in in vast quantities in order to, um, you know, ship it around the place. But specifically, we can get it to Seattle and Los Angeles on the west coast. There is a bunch of tools here. Well, that can only be a good thing unless, uh, where is our tools train? Here it is. Well, it's profitable. Everything looks to me as profitable. What's not profitable? The cross country line and then the east coast line. Well, the east coast line, I will have to address right away. The east coast line brings people from New York to the loop line. And by the loop line, I actually mean the cross country line. So we are, we are going to have to duplicate this train. Do we uh, add two more cars on it? It's the Russiche, so it's the Russiche with those Pullman cars. I think we're going to go ahead and buy a brand new train there. A Russiche Russian class T-Type 1 with the Pullman car. How much does six cars cost? 2.9 million. You are insane, sir. You are definitely... I don't think I paid that much money before. I think we did. I'm pretty sure we did buy this one. The Russiche goes 55 kilometers an hour and so does the Pullman. While well, the Pullman goes um, 50. Okay, we're going to buy this train and we're going to put it on that train east coast line. And then once we have $4 million, we're going to buy another train to go cross country. You uh, are a nice train, but you are not the right color. This train should be of a yellow color. Let's go see if it's really the same train. It, it is the same train. I'm looking at it. I'm comparing them. 
Okay, so Pittsburgh still needs more buses. This is almost unbelievable. I should have put a tram in Pittsburgh. The more passengers in Pittsburgh, the better off both of these lines are going to be. There's 50 people for each line right now. And there's even 20 people in Chicago waiting to go both ways. That's actually really good news. We are witnessing the, some growth right now in Chicago. We are watching roads be built. This guy's building his house. Oh no, it's a commercial building. It needs tools. Well, you're lucky I'm making tools. Because that means you might get some tools pretty soon. Okay. We're going to wait for one more year. We're going to play until 1880. We can maybe connect some of these cities up. Just so that we don't have the warning. Chicago, Charlotte to Pittsburgh. That would be this one. We're going to connect up these roads. And um, that might help us. That's going to help our cities not shrink. Where is Albuquerque? I should know this. I named this damn city. Okay. It's this. Okay, so build a curvy road. You love curvy roads. I don't. It needs to be a straight road until it crosses this train station. And then it can curve all it wants. We're going to pretend that this road over here never existed. We're going to make it look very natural. How natural is that? That's pretty natural. Portland to Chicago. That's a simple one. That's this one. Now, uh, why, why on earth are you um, building a mountain? You don't need a mountain. Can, how about a tunnel? Have we done any tunneling? Okay, a tunnel works. I don't know where my gun just went. There we go. A tunnel works. I am pressing the wrong key. That's what's happening. I am pressing the bulldoze key instead of the tunnel key. 170,000. Yikes. Whoa, that actually looks really bad. We're going to have to revisit that. But I'm so nice that I connected those cities with a tunnel. Okay, Santa Barbara to Dallas. That would be on the south end of things. This one looks really simple. Yeah. A little curve in the road. That's what the game wants, so uh, there we go. Santa Monica to Atlanta. Atlanta would be right there. Wow. Now, uh, let's, let's see if we can get some nice grid work here. So the city knows how to grow in future situations. Uh, I think you're getting a grid in there is going to be pretty much next to impossible unless we spend millions of dollars and a bunch of time. Well, we can do that. I think this could work. It's kind of crooked, isn't it? I've already gone and done it crookedly. Okay. Extend this road. Extend this road. 104,000. I'll do it. We're doing it because... Okay, but is it crooked? It's a bit crooked. It's not, not crooked that I'm going to... I'm not going to spend... Okay, it's crooked, so I am going to spend about 5 minutes. I'm going to spend 50 seconds on this road. I'm going to straighten out this road. That already looks straighter, but it's probably the same thing as it was. It does look straighter. It's probably the same thing. It's crooked. Okay. 50 seconds. We're still on the clock. We're going to do this right. If it, maybe this rock is where it, it needs to go. How would you... Oh, I know a trick. Okay. Use the bottom of your screen as a measuring stick. So it was straight the entire time. I apologize for that. We are so used to curved rows on this game that we uh, 
we don't trust this computer and this AI to be building roads. Now, Seattle and Denver. Why would you want a connection between Seattle and Denver? There is now a way to get there by train with with one just one simple interchange. And plus, we broke this road up in two locations. That calls for a new highway, and we have $6 million, ladies and gentlemen. $6 million tells me we need to buy another cross-country train. It's a good sum of money, and I'm going to go spend it. Now, I want to make sure that when we buy this the, the new train that comes out of this depot, so we're going to... We're going to build it at the depot from scratch. That way it comes out of the depot as desired. Okay, we're almost at 1880. Everything's coming along just as planned. Buy vehicle, set line, cross country line. We're going to have to change the color on the um, Boston New York Express. It was fine as yellow, but it was fine as yellow now that other lines blue how about this one gets that green color okay we'll figure out the colors later we have to go connect Denver and Seattle and celebrate the new year and the new decade in this game maybe Seattle and Denver won't even get a road connection. I don't feel like giving them one I feel like maybe they don't deserve it it could be done really nicely though Okay, well, we'll just do it like this. There we go. It's curved, but it's far enough away from the city. And we are in the 1880s. This is the decade of I'm going to be put in trams. This is the decade of... Uh, what else could I be doing this decade in the game? Um, that is one bump I don't want to like. I don't like to see that. How about a bridge? Have we been doing bridges? Not really. How how would you do a bridge? You would you would press this button. Now you can remain on the level. Like that. That is a serious a serious bridge that is the Millennium Bridge not the Millennium the decade decade bridge for the to celebrate this decade some along those lines and we're back in business are we back in business it doesn't quite match up this road but this road doesn't even align to anything that I particularly want it to align to so just gonna extend it straight, and would you look at this bridge? Perfect alignment. This this road is better than the road that they used to have, that AI generated road. Okay, well, thank you for wet watching this episode. We have our cross country line doing fairly well. There are even 50 people waiting to go to Chicago from Denver. I never thought I'd see that in my life. There are. 84 people waiting to take the cross-country line. Does that mean we are profitable on the cross-country line? I'm holding my breath. It, I just saw it say $11,000 of profit. And then it dipped down to $200,000. let us just wait for this train to get to the station with 76 people. And we'll see. Alright, we are going to make this... Look at all these lines coming here. This is already turning out to be one of those main stations. Okay, here comes the blue train. Waiting patiently for the blue train. I'm gonna speed it up because we're impatient. Remove the lines. I don't want to see those lines. I do want to see the lines. I don't want to see the lines. Okay. I already see profit right here. There we go. 480,000. That's a paycheck. That makes this line our 200,000 profit this year, but it's up there. It's the sixth most profitable line of our whole system. 
And I think it's just going to go up from there. Look, they just uh, they just filled up with 80 passengers. 88 passengers. We might even put another train on this line. Thanks so much for watching. This has been a mighty pleasure. Have a good day, everybody.